Hey everyone, Multiple456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 112 of Lost Platinum Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hopefully this is the last episode, if not, there'll be one more after this, but we'll see. Alright, time to go downstairs, and we're going to do the Colosseum portion of this chapter, where we have to do four battles. So let's see if we can get those done as quickly as possible, and move on. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I'm pretty confident that I will get Madam M side quests. The only option that I chose that was wrong last time was uh, Tails. I was supposed to choose a no deal. So, but apart from that, I think I chose everything correctly. Okay, I do have to use the menu because I want to make sure I have ice. So let's skip. Run over here. We've got to enter this room. I don't think you have to talk to Johnny, but talking to Johnny does make things go quicker. Maybe you do, because, yeah, the scene is like this and they react to the noise. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Okay, so you could go out here. And then we go, let's see, ice. Just change this to ice. The rest should be fine. Yeah, fire synergy is fine as well. You two re uh, ready. Try not to get yourselves killed. All right, and skip. Rush in. Use triple slash. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another triple slash. Done. All right, good. Good start. Next one is the. Oh, I really want to try it. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Uh, let me see. No have to wait, hang on. What I'm going to try is, the next match is against Corneo's Lackeys, as well as I think Beck, Butch and Burke. And I have Fire Synergy on Aerith currently, and I'm going to change her Fire MP Absorption to Fire Magnify, just to see. Hang on, so we're going to go here. That's fine. Put this one as Magnify. And then for Cloud, put Fire. Let's see. Okay, in order to get the uh, next round to start, I like to go in here, do a lap around the table, go a little bit past here, and then back out. And perfect. Look at that. That, that could not have been better. Alright, so let's see what happens. I, uh, this is going to be hard to notice, but I'm going to try and notice. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Nah, it didn't work. Just regular synergy. That did 5,000 damage to that one dude. Oh no! Get away! Dead? Wait, there was still an enemy over there? Wow, these guys took forever to take down. <laughs> hey, MP up! Was that a max out one? Maybe. Or was that the, uh, that was probably the, the weaker one. Oh my goodness, maybe not, because Aerith has 155 MP. Man, that should have been... It, it, honestly, if it Fire Magnify, Fire Synergy worked, that would be incredible. Like, all of those enemies would have died instantaneously if that had worked. Okay, now I need to change to Lightning. Uh, lightning Synergy, definitely, and I'll put Lightning MP Absorption. Where's that? Um, yeah, it maxed out. Nice. And those ones are getting pretty close too. I'm not going to get it, but it's getting pretty close. And I guess for Cloud, I'll quickly put on Magnify here, even though it's not super crucial. Okay. Uh, I think we can go straight away. Uh, oh, it's okay. Your turn yet. Your there we go. Seems to be about like 15 to 20 seconds, almost, depending on what you do. Okay, so this is supposedly the final match, but it's not. Two, three. Gosh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go, go. That one's dead. Perfect. I could get it to actually cast um, Thunder, but it's fine. Yeah. Pretty quick. I'm sure there's a quick way to do it. Like, if you Thunder Magnify, or if you Thundara Magnify, you might just flat out win. Oh, no, 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 you won't, you won't. Look how amazingly detailed these machines are. They really thought about it. I'm guessing they probably, like, went back to the original so many times and looked at how these things were designed and, like, alright, how do we, like, upscale this and 
make it really detailed, so cool. All right, for this last fight against the uh, Hell House, we're gonna go Fire and Ice. Everything else stays the same. Lightning and Wind. When I can find it, what was that? Synergy? No, you don't need Synergy for this. Lightning MP absorption, fine. You could also have. You know what? I will because this fight it generally gets me. So I'm gonna put uh, healing and revival on Aerith. That should be good. Like I'm, I am good at this fight, and I'm much better on the PS5 than I am on the PS4. But uh, it's so frustrating when you lose. Like I really want to beat this on the first go. Alright, so start the battle by getting Aerith to put down her Arcane Ward. Get Cloud to use Double Blizzard. One, two. That takes care of the uh, the barrier shift. Okay, now we need Aerith to actually go up quickly. Here come the... oops. That's fine. Wind on the Hell House. Switch to Cloud. He can defeat the Tonberries with a few quick triple slashes I might use another okay it's over I mean phase one's done I think there was one more tonberry you can actually kill him so you can get him down so quick that uh it won't be able to summon the tonberries but wasn't quite quick enough there all right make sure you're on cloud when the phase changes from one to two because otherwise the house will go off to Aerith. So all you need to do here is change to Punisher mode and just hold block. You don't need to worry about doing a counter stance. Oh, I guess you could actually. Hang on. So you do this. Counter stance. Ah, oh, okay. And that's that's why you don't do it because you actually take damage. So double um, focus thrust. Full Punisher mode combo. Ah, missed it. Okay, that's fine. Let's just wait until it goes up there. Try and raise some ATB with Cloud. Because if it barrier shifts, which sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Looks like it didn't this time. Watch out for House Call. Does a lot of damage. Okay, now we can stagger it, pretty much. All the way up to max. Let's go with Infinity's End. I'm gonna get Aerith to heal, do a Cura on Cloud. They should pretty much take it straight to phase 3, yep. Phase 3 is okay. No cutscene, thank goodness. I have not, like, the, the, the left and right arm don't need to be hit that much to actually, like, break them. Like, I'm doing 28 damage and it's, it's losing percentage points of health, but it's so hard to hit them properly. Let's stay away from him a little bit. Okay, renewed hospitality is a uh, win, so we need to use thunder. Thank god, get Cloud back in there and, oh! Are you kidding me? That's a new one. Is he still? He's not. Okay. Uh, that is definitely a new one. Okay. Well, we can. Uh, no, I was gonna use uh, Ray of Judgment. Oh, maybe I should have. Yeah. Ray of Judgment. Go. Please stay down. It actually it doesn't increase the pressure gauge by that much, but damn, it does a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm almost at phase four. Please don't screw up. Please don't screw up. I need my. I knew it. I was. I was trying to get Cloud's ATB up so I can use fire. That's alright. It's pretty much done. Watch out. Just build up ATB. Okay, jet stream's bad. Damn. I'm gonna do a Kuraga on everybody because I really don't want to die. That's cool. I somehow avoided that. What is he going to do? Barrier shift. Housing shock is Aerith. I like to jump into here. Arrow. Please don't screw me over. Okay, he's going to do this again. That's fine. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice. Focus thrust. Alright, this should take us to the final phase. I don't have my uh, limit gauge up to max, which is bad, but we should still be able to get this. If I can get... Actually, I think I will get it. I think I will. So all you have to do is you wait a second. He's going to go Heaven Sword. Or heaven, sorry, heaven's heaven's ward, like as in towards heaven. Uh, let's go, let's go. To avoid this, oh, okay, well that helps. I'll use Cura on myself, just to stay up. Watch out for these chairs. Okay, and then what you got to do is you got to run towards the arcane ward. Well, you don't have to, but oh no, it's Zareth's one. Okay, that's fine. We're in perfect position. Double arrow. 
That should knock down the Hell House to the floor. I'm going to charge in and I'm going to use my Ascension Limit. And just to be safe, I'm going to hit it with Aerith a couple times. Really? He didn't die? Please die then. Please die. Thank you. Alright, done. Ooh boy. Okay, we beat it again. <laughs> First go. Nice. Alright, so now, now that we've done that, we go out here, we talk to the guy, he t tells us that you can participate in the Colosseum matches, but we don't need to. All we have to do now is head back to Madam M, she's going to give us her set of quests, uh, and then we go out, uh, like we walk out of the actual uh, place, turn around, check in on Aerith immediately, then Johnny comes and gets us, we go to Corneo, uh, we tell Johnny to go tell Aerith not to leave, she comes, and then yeah, we're good. And we'll watch the cutscene with, uh, with Aerith because it's for her final dress. So, skip this. How a All right. Once you change, uh, yes. All right then. In the meantime, <laughs> not interested. Yep. Cool. Which so I got the I right set of quests. Oh, well, I got her set of quests. Ouch. Well. If you get Sam's, she'll say something like, no one told you to do that. Okay, so you leave the establishment, and you turn around, enter, check in on Aerith, yes. Then Johnny comes running, and now we can follow him. Take a deep breath. I heard corn. Well, I do. I'll come too. Hey, Cloud, bro. I can't call you bro, right? Nope. He almost always runs through there, but at one point... I made him run. Yeah, look, he's running this way for some reason. I wonder if it's because of Madam M's requests, because he usually goes around the other way. It's very weird. He never does that, but yeah. All right, so we go here. Keep talking. Yes, sir. And then we go in here. We should definitely get the platinum in this episode, but there's still some stuff I want to do. I may just make this episode go for a little bit longer. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I can do it quick enough. If it wasn't for watching this mini cutscene here, then you again. Got that it'd be quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Well, either way, you... I wasn't okay. asking for... Huh? Talk to Leslie. And, that's someone, or it could want getting... and then we go back to Aerith. You're sure you want... but... Okay, cool. Now we can leave. And this is where we get the cutscene for Aerith's final dress. So let's watch it. <laughs> no one showed up this time. Uh, you're up. Come on. <laughs> it's so different than when she wears the red dress. Man, Johnny really doesn't have a thing for Aerith. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's a nice little dress. Aerith, what are you wearing? I know, right? It's bad. Like, super bad. I've been trying to figure out if there was anything more I could have done with it, but... Doesn't really matter if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. No, I didn't. I literally did as did little as possible. Did you put a lot of work into this? No. No, I didn't. Not even a little bit. Hey. Okay, that's it. Um... Johnny for the one <laughs> Funny. By myself? Funny yeah. scene. See what? According to Madam... Huh? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the, what's it called, the Honeybee Inn. We're going to, I'm going to skip the uh, the mini game again. Well, I'll do it, but I'll do it off screen. And then we run straight back here and finish off the chapter. We're going to see Tifa. In fact, uh, yeah, we're going to see Tifa in a moment. Man, Tifa's dress is just like unbelievable. <laughs> Easily the best dress. For me personally, <laughs> I'm I'm ho, <laughs> in my honest opinion, my humble opinion. All right, go 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 go, Aerith, why you walk so slow? Let's go. We're running out of time. No more fights, right? Yeah, there's no. Uh, no, there's a few more fights, but they're inconsequential. Okay. 
It's uh, Andrea Rodea. What? It's pretty rare. Trust me. Uh, I find it funny how like everyone in the Honeybee Inn no participates in helping no Cloud, so I you know, dress up like a woman. <laughs> okay, so we go here. The one in the back. Good evening. Welcome. We're here to see on you must, you must miss the cloud. I've been Let's send you through the to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back. <laughs> oh, makes me laugh every time. And go, 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 go. And so here, make sure you press, let's see. You want to say yes, head to the stage and yes, skip the practice session. Skip this cutscene. And now I'm going to do this off screen. So I'll be right back. Okay, well, I missed by one. <laughs> right at the very end, the second second to last one, I pressed slightly too early. Alright, cool. So we finished that. We've got uh, Andrea's earrings again. You can see Cloud's dress is a lot more plain and simple. They're very similar though. Like, Aerith's, uh, I would say, are uh, all fairly, fairly different. Tifa's, some of hers are kind of similar. But Cloud's are like really, really similar. Alright, here we go. We're going to get the Platinum. As soon as I finish speaking to Cloud, the Platinum will pop. So I wait until he stops. Press. Not a word. Please don't. Not a word. Come on. But you're so pretty. Dress to the nines and listen to that sound. Bling. Master of Fate. We did a... And weirdly, uh, Cloud actually sort of... He's... I think when he runs... Maybe he doesn't. I was gonna say, I think when he runs with the other dress, he, he keeps his hands together, but here he's just kind of like swaying side by side. Also, uh, this is something I learnt during a watching a speedrun. Uh, and the speedrun actually said, I was today years old, I was like two months years old ago, but when I realized Johnny is right here. Bro, look at you. So, how's the dress working out for you? I wanted to help out, do my part, you know. After Andrea told me the plan, I ran all over looking for something. But, like, I don't got a lot of money. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's just, he really blends into, back, into the background there. Although, I am, like, 99% sure that when I was practicing at one point, not when I got this dress, but I think when I got the second dress for Cloud, he, uh, Johnny wasn't there. So, I don't know what happened. It's very weird. No way. <laughs> Leslie's voice actor just delivered that line so perfectly. No way. <laughs> uh, where's it? Oh, I thought we were in the room after this already. Uh, okay, so now you might be wondering, Ultima, you got your Platinum, why are you still playing? Well, there's one more thing I want to show off, and then there's still another thing beyond that. And like I said, I really wanted to do probably another episode, but it was just it would just take too long. So I think I'm gonna try and do do everything in this episode. Okay, we can skip this. And there she is. The best dress in the whole game. So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's I literally can't this even. <laughs> She's sorry, Tiva. Look at her. It's, it's just too much. No? What do you mean no? Yes, all the yes. Hi Aerith. You're very cute. But Tifa, man. <laughs> God damn. Now, ladies, listen up. Let me get out of here. You're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. I'm sorry, it's just too much. Let's hustle. It's like literally the best dress I've ever seen. Alright, guys. Let's do this. Do you want And weirdly, like, I don't know, like, for Aerith, her dresses are considered progressively worse. And then by that same measure that would mean that this dress for Tifa is the worst, but it's not. <laughs> uh, okay, so skip that cutscene. Okay, let's go rescue uh, I'm not gonna worry about um, Materia. This is literally the last battle. Did I finish saying what I was saying? Oh, I said I wanted to yeah show off a bit more. So I'll show you what I mean. Basically, we want to finish this chapter so that when we do, we will have cemented our our uh, affection points for both. You know what? Let me just destroy you guys. Ain't you to the rejects? Oh, that was awesome! Om Omni strike into into um, whirling uppercut. Yeah, okay, good, good. So, but at this point now, we have cemented our uh, affection points for both Aerith and Tifa. If I'm not mistaken, Tifa has two because we had to complete the Chadley quest line, 
and then it doesn't matter what we pick. Can I skip straight away? Oh, you can skip straight away, yeah. Uh, Aerith has two because, sorry, Tifa has two because we had to do the Chatterley quest and Aerith has none because we did no side quests, which means Barrett actually has five by default. Now that we're in chapter 10, we can jump straight to chapter 14 on hard mode, proceed. We can skip the opening cutscene and we wake up. Oh, actually, well, maybe I shouldn't have skipped that cutscene. If, if you want to see a slightly different scene, uh, let that cutscene play out and you'll see a slightly different scene, which I don't even think I've seen actually myself. All right, so here's what I'm going, going to do. We're going to see that Barrett is there. We're going to get the Barrett cutscene. And then after this, I'm going to uh, I'm going to splice in the Aerith cutscene again so that we can watch it um, after having, you know, after myself having described everything that I understand about the game. And then we'll do something slightly more after that. So be right back. Oh, well, I'll be right back. I'll be here. <laughs> you should rest up while you can. Likewise. No, I'm good. Real good. Besides, when I close my eyes, I start thinking about things. About people. Like Finn. Lazy little punk. Kid would do damn near anything, except what you told him. But ask him to paint you a picture, and boy howdy. Those stamps in the tunnels? Finn's work. Every one. Then there's Al, Intel guy. He had these tricks for stealing codes I still don't understand. Stole his share of hearts, too. But when it came to the ladies, he just had the one trick. Bouquet of flowers hidden behind his back. Funny to think, some of them might have even come from here. He pulled a flower trick on Tifa once, believe it or not. <laughs> she told him where to stick him. Of course she did. Our quartermaster Nelly had a good laugh at that. She was tight with Jesse. People sometimes took him for sisters, even. They'd say no way and get upset, but then they'd start giggling and, you know. Yeah, they'll all be fine. They're strong. They're tough. Like me. <laughs> After we save Aerith, I'll introduce you to them. Sounds good. <laughs> Never thought I'd feel better after talking with your hard-boiled ass. Think you can sleep now? Oh yeah, like a baby. <laughs> that was that last little bit there? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna skip this. Uh, and I wanna actually just, I, I think that was a great scene. I wanna point something out. He said the those people's names were Finn, Al, and Nelly, as in Finally, as in Final Fantasy, <laughs> Finn, Al, Nelly. I don't think that's too much of a stretch. Uh, I, I, it seems to be a pun, essentially. So I, I wonder if anyone else noticed that. All right, let's have a look at our play log. So, yep, that uh, combat simulation battle still to complete. The enemy intel, enemy assess, that's from that. We now have all cloud stresses, all Tifa's dresses, and all Aerith's dresses, and we have our chapter 14 resolution. So I wanted to splice in... Here's, here's what I'm thinking. I'm, I think I might do an extra episode. It's gonna it's gonna be more annoying, but I think I might do an extra episode. I'm gonna jump straight back into chapter nine here. Let me just do this, skip this, and I'll pause right here. Okay, um, actually, hang on a sec. Let me, that's what I wanna do. I'll pause right here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna splice in, in the beginning of the next episode, I'm gonna splice in Aerith's cutscene again. Then I'm going to do the vast majority of chapter nine. Like I'll skip all of this collapsed expressway um, stuff to get to, to wall market. And then I'll show you what you need to do and what you need to select to complete chapter nine. 
so that you can actually finally get the last manuscript. Because you can see here on chapter nine, it's the only one that has a manuscript still, still to collect. So we're gonna try and do that. It's one of clouds. So I'll show that off next time and then that'll be the end of the, the main series of Final Fantasy VII Remake and we'll go into the DLC after that. So for now, I wanna thank you all for watching episode 112 of Les Platinum Final Fantasy VII Remake. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.